The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. The lifestyle. I'm gonna go see something special. LJ and Sabrina decided to go on a walk in Walmart. I wonder how LJ would look in one of these. So I got a phone call. I lost her. What happened? I don't know. It seemed like he may have been having a heart attack. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. So as we're driving on I-10 going west, we see this huge billboard that says, are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? So of course we had so much time in our hands, we decided to pick up the phone and call them. Hello, this is with Faith Christian Fellowship. How can I help you? Hi, am I going to heaven or hell? Well, that depends if, you, uh, if you're seeking God with your whole heart and if you've repented of your sins and trusting in the shed blood of Christ to wash them away. And needless to say, it was a very interesting conversation. Because without Christ, I guess we're all headed for hell. Part of the reason that we did this is because obviously we're in a car for so many hours and it stimulates great conversation after you hang up the phone anyway. I really do not enjoy driving in bad weather. You gotta keep in mind that I'm in charge of everyone's life that's in the car. However, I'd rather continue driving in the bad weather in order to get to my next destination. It's time to take the babies to go do pee pee. It goes gizmo. So we show up in Alabama at this travel truck stop. We are in Alabama. Alabama. And it's really actually pretty cool because it looks like a van crashed into this building. It actually looked like the, the Scooby-Doo van, the mystery machine. Make love, not war. This is really cool, actually. No way. Check this place out, guys. But everyone knows that the most important thing in here is the Florida Gators. Oh, yeah. Wow, this, this door is so cool. Oh, my God. So then we were back on the road, and then we saw a huge fireworks warehouse, it looked like. The Superstore. Fireworks, Superstore. We're talking a lot of fireworks. Back in Miami, we don't really get fireworks like that, because we get them from like Publix, like a shopping center. Dylan's like, I want the big one. I'm like, all right, this was a really big one. What you got, D? All in. Got some fireworks. Yeah. I love going to New Orleans. Wow, look at that building, it's so cool. Oh, they moved the building, that's what that's that what they Yeah, did? that's what it looks like. I've never been to New Orleans before. I was really excited to go. Let's talk about New Orleans, the Big Easy. Did you know that at one time, they were owned by France, and then they were taken away by Spain? And then France got back involved and took it back? And then we said, you know what, let's stop this. So we bought it and kept it. That's how it ended up being New Orleans, which is what we know as the Louisiana Purchase. It was hard finding a parking spot for us because we were such a big van and trailer and everything. But once we did, we got to walk around and it was really cool. I love the food, I love the music, I love the people, I love the French Quarter, I love going to New Orleans. And of course, this was really fun because we hadn't been there in like two or three years. And now we're with the whole team, the kids. So then we get to the French market, which is a really cool open market kind of atmosphere. There's a lot of different vendors there selling everything from picture frames to books to voodoo dolls, which was freaky because they were legit. The last couple of years when we've been going out of the country and performing, for some reason, um, people kept giving us crosses. So now, everywhere we travel, or if somebody gives us a gift, it's usually a cross. So we have a huge cross collection now. Whenever I travel anywhere in the world, I usually look for the favorite food that they have. And we decided, well, let's go get our New Orleans grub on. We're getting vignettes, but I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. We had apple-filled beignets, which were really yummy. Apparently it's a very traditional thing. We also have poor boy sandwiches. Not poor boy, poor boy sandwiches. There's a difference. But man, they taste good. 
but the oysters were amazing. So these are oysters, my friend. They come out of Hopedale, Louisiana, which is only about an hour and 45 minutes away from here. These oysters came in on yesterday evening. They're very fresh, very good, and very tasty. No, tasty was an understatement. They were delicious. Not only is it the oldest neighborhood in New Orleans, but it's a beautiful place to be. I loved it. It's a crazy place, and you know I love crazy. Bert and I, we're bikers. We love bikes. Well, actually, specifically, we love Harleys, okay? Big difference. So we had to go to the Harley Davidson in New Orleans, which was called, I think, the Voodoo Harley Davidson. Then we get our chip, the Harley Davidson chip in New Orleans. And we had to get our poker chips that we get from every Harley Davidson right, when we got Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Collect one from every place you go, and you have a full collection, and we've traveled the world. And every time we go somewhere, we get one, wherever there's a Harley store. And people that have Harley don't even know about them. One of the really neat things that I liked about New Orleans was how much it was like history and art intertwined. Everywhere you went, you had these gorgeous buildings and you had these artists and you had musicians. I remember living in New Orleans when I was like 12 years old. Actually, no, it was between 10 and 12. I remember living there. And we lived on the outskirts, right there by the French Quarter. Then we went to a really cool park called Jackson Square. go to Jackson Square and they have all these artists, street performers, and they get involved and you have fun with them. It's, it's very, it's nice. One was a jazz band and they were a lot of fun to listen to and to watch. A lot of good culture there for you to learn and see. We going down to that mountain, bro. I'm going down and getting my score down. Then, you know, we walked a few feet away and you had two people playing classical instruments and playing classical music. And they were both just as inspiring and gorgeous, but completely two different genres. recommend you to go there. I've been there several times and I can't wait to go back. So as we're leaving the French Quarter and heading to the hotel, it's really hard in the French Quarter to maneuver the, the trailer and you know the big van. We went all the way down Canal Street and then we're gonna try and turn around. But we took a wrong turn. Bert somehow got us trapped onto some train tracks. And we couldn't turn around. There was like two or three train tracks. We didn't know if a train was coming by, just like smash into us. It. it was pretty freaky. What are we gonna do? How do we get out of here? We can't back up, we can't make a right, we can't make a left, we can't go forward. What do we do here? Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. And subscribe, of course. <laughs> <laughs>